On an average, people spend about 80% of their lifetime in their home, eating, sleeping, and breathing the air inside. It's because of several factors that radon gas concentration can reach a high level in a home. This is a side cutout of a typical two-story house. Hot air naturally wants to rise, and as it does, a draft is created in the upward direction as air flows from the bottom floors to the top floors. This air collects at the top, creating a high pressure zone, and at the bottom where the air is coming from, a low pressure zone is created. The air at the top eventually works its way through the roof or windows, and that air is replenished at the bottom of the house as air comes in through the low pressure zone. This process of airflow is known as the stack effect. On the outside of the house, additional forces are at work. The top half experiences wind, and as the air rushes by, a low pressure zone is created, additionally pulling more air out of the top half of the house, which is replenished from the bottom. The bottom half experiences hydrostatic pressure. As it rains, the water seeps into the ground and displaces the air in the soil. This air can be driven into the basement or crawl space of a home. The problem can be made worse if snow, ice, or asphalt are present as the air has no way to make it to the surface other than through the home. If radon is present in the soil, it can be seen how through the stack effect, wind, and hydrostatic pressure, how it can enter a home and become part of the air that we breathe. 